Hello, welcome to Pandora's Box. Today, we are going to open a box of Fresh and Blood Arcane Rising. This is box number 4, the last box out of the case. Guarantee confirm plus chop, there's a piece of legendary inside there. Guarantee plus chop. Because from what I understand, right, it's a one legendary per case. So this is box 4, last one out of the case already. Guarantee confirm the legendary is inside. We just don't know which one. We just don't know which one. Okay, so before I go on, a uh, quick update. Uh, I've already opened open three boxes before this. I'm up to 65% progression. 65%. Okay, let's see how much this one gives us. Okay. So, uh, like I mentioned before, I don't even need to... The sorting is going to be super, super easy. Very, very straightforward for me. Because I don't even need to look at the super... Eh, I don't even need to look at the rare. Okay, rare and common, everything, to me, they are all bulk. Rare and common, I've really gotten every single one of the rare and common cards. Okay, every one of the rare and common are considered bulk. Okay, let's see which is the legendary. Which legendary are we gonna get today? Okay. Okay, pedal to the metal. <laughs> one foil and one non foil, side by side. Okay. So very, very straightforward. This is the last box for the case. So far, uh, yes, not quite a good experience. Like I, I had quite, it was actually quite fun opening this. Oh, super rare induction chamber. I don't think I've seen this before. So that means that's good. Okay, that's a piece. <laughs> the foiling is so subtle I can barely see. Uh, because, I mean, it's just only because right, I know that this is a foil slot. So I do keep a look at I know exactly this is a foil slot, slot. If I had not known that this is a foil slot, right, I would have just mixed them all together with all the other comments and just dump them, dump them into the common pile. So the foiling for some of the cards are really, really very subtle. You can hardly see. Okay, but uh, back to back to talking about uh, Fresh and Blood, Arcane, Arcane Rising in general, I think it's a really good set. It's fun to open. I think it's also worth it to open. I don't think they are... I, I mean, I, I'm not too sure of the financial value, but I don't think this can really uh, crash and burn like um, some of the Digimon and Pokemon and all the other... Because <laughs> there are some... some um, there are some IPs out there, right, where, where you open a whole, a, a whole box or a whole case, right, and you don't get that one or two very, very, um, sort of, that, that one or two chase card. Basically, everything is bulk except for that number of chase cards. So, uh, I do commend Legend, Legend Story Studios. I mean, they, they, they do, um, they do, um, how do they say? They do distribute their rares and, uh, majestic they do distribute their chase cards in such a way that it doesn't feel too bad you know it doesn't feel too bad when you open a case right and you don't get the chase cards okay. so because most of the cards not say most of the cards but uh, a big portion of the cards right will still have value regardless so if you don't pull the legendary you're guaranteed to pull two majestic and the majestic right no matter what will have will hold a little bit of value okay so i so that, that makes it like yeah much much better oh yes majestic number one three of a kind majestic number one okay. play three cards all right super cool three of three of a kind that, that doesn't look like three of a kind okay very good three of a kind so that's a foil one foil ether flare I almost okay any any of the foil right with like flame flame artwork right uh, it stands up, it pops out, it looks very very good on foil. As, uh, like this one and the last one with the, with the arrow, with that fire arrow thing, that one pops out. Okay, but everything, okay, most of the other uh, common foils, right? <laughs> I can't tell that it's foil. Wait, wrong, wrong side. Legendary, where are you? Oops. One, two, common mountain. Fervent forerunner common. Foil common. Okay, is this the box? Is this gonna be the legendary pack? Legendary, nope. Legendary. And this is super rare. Chains of Eminence. Nice. Oh, I can't remember whether the legendary, uh, the legendary card comes in a foil slot or the or the rare slot. I can't remember. 
So usually you take away one, two, three, four, five, five cards. So uh, two rares, okay, one rare here. This could be a majestic, okay? So number uh, number six, number seven, and number eight. So I'm not too sure whether the the legendary card comes in number seven or number eight. Definitely not number six. Number six is a rare card. So rare, I think in, in magic, I mean if you're playing magic, rare card rare cards are sort of like the com uh, uncommon cards. Okay, so this is an uncommon. This is a rare. Wait, wait. Oh, wait. What happened? Oops. Okay, high octane, foil high octane, foil majestic high octane. Um, yeah, good, good. Very nice. Foil majestic. Seems like it's a good box. This is gonna be a good box. But I'm just curious. I'm just curious about the legendary. Come on, legendary. Legendary! Oh yes! Legendary! Oh wait, wait, wait. this is all non foil. Wait, 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 wait. Let me let me temper my enthusiasm uh, enthusiasm first. <laughs> let me sort out the cards. Okay, okay. Grabs of grabs of the Ark Knight. <sighs> okay. Legendary only comes in foil. Okay? Legendary only comes in foil. Batman hands. Dev Knight hands. Okay, other than that. Alright. Uh, in terms of gameplay, I guess it might be good. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. But it's a legendary. And it's a, and Legendary is always, always good. So I presume, I mean, if we are lucky, we're going to hit one more Majestic for this box if we are lucky. Uh, but I'm not too hopeful. I'm not too, no, not too hopeful. Because the last one, you only got two Majestics and both are non foil. So we've got already got one foil Majestic really, and a Legendary. I think that's it for the box. This is, I think, this is it for the box really. I don't think we're going to pull anything spicy. I don't think we're going to put anything else spicy. So, okay, let me just quickly go through this one. And I can quickly, quickly do the swapping. Okay. Uh, for, alright. So for, for Fresh and Blood, right, the main, the big, big, big draw for Fresh and Blood, right, is really, really the gameplay. It's really the gameplay. So I know there's a lot of uh, players right who haven't played uh, um, Fresh and Blood, and then players right who go into Fresh and Blood tell them, "Don't listen to me. Don't, don't don't listen to me. Just play. Just 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 play one game. At least play one game, and you see you see why uh, players are really raving, raving about Fresh and Blood. Okay, for me, I don't play anything. I don't play Magic. I don't play Pokemon. I don't play Fresh and Blood." So the only value that Flesh and Blood have for me, right, uh, is the artwork, okay, and, and the, the excitement for the box opening. This is the only uh, value that Flesh and Blood holds for me. So uh, I'm a bit a bit different, maybe. I'm sure there are other collectors uh, like me out there who don't play the game, but who purely... Oh, Majestic number 3! Oh, God box. This is a godly, godly box. Blazing Aether, Mr. Kano, Blazing Aether. All right, all right, I wasn't expecting this. Majestic number three. Okay. Okay, so the last box, if you all remember for box three, we only got two Majestics and both of them are non foil Now we've got a, a legendary Graph of the Dark uh, Arc Knight, foil high octane and two, uh, two non foil Majestics. This is like double the value, double the value of the last box really. Okay, this is really, really good. Okay, we're ending this case on a high. We're ending this case on a super, super high. Very, very good. Very, very good. Oh. Oh, token. Aziz Azilia. My favorite Azilia. Who spends so lonely, lonely nights with me. Miss Azilia. Who likes to play in my arrows. Uh, three, four, five, and rare, and rare, and for common. Okay, guarantee there's going to be nothing in this. If there's another majesty in this, <laughs> I'm going to just go crazy. Okay, but I can guarantee you there's going to be nothing in here. Guarantee chop, nothing in here. Guarantee chop. Yep, nothing. Nothing. Okay, good. Look at this box. Okay. So best box in the in the case so far. Best box in the case. This is a legendary 
Foy Majestic, two non-Foy Majestics. Super crazy. Okay. Brothers and sisters, please like and subscribe to my channel. To you, it's just a little click, but to me, right, it's the difference between being able to continue to leech off my parents while making content like this or having to go out into the world to find a real job. I'm still very young, I'm only in my late 30s, and I hope that I don't have to join the workforce so soon. So please, please, just move your cursor to the like and subscribe button and give it a little click. Every click will help to extend my runway a little bit longer. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, I'm super happy with the outcome for this box. Super, super happy with the outcome. So for my progression wise, okay, I'm uh, up to 74% completion. So after four boxes, one case, I'm up to 74% uh, completion. For my uh, non foil set, okay, I'm only five cut short. Five cut short and I've got a whole non foil set. Uh, and for the foil set, I'm about 48%, almost halfway through. Almost halfway through all, so, so all that. And so this, these are all the extra cuts. Just one super rare here. Okay. <laughs> um, so far very good. No duplicate rares and, and such. Uh, very, very enjoyable experience. And uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, probably going to open something else. Okay, four boxes of fresh and blood in a row. I'm getting a little bit sick already. I'm probably going to open something else. So um, let's see. Let's just see. It's time to put my super amazing gift wrapping skills to use again. Please like, subscribe and comment to my video. My sense of self-worth is predicated on my views and subscriber count. As you can see from the wrapping, I'm a very meticulous person. As I'm trying to complete sets through opening packs, right, inevitably there'll be lots and lots of duplicates. I tried to give them all to my viewers initially but unfortunately there was not a single person watching my videos so i had no choice but to sell them on facebook groups to much better effect okay maybe in a year or two when there are people other than myself watching these videos i can transition back to giveaways so please remember to subscribe and i'll see you on the next video bye bye